now you've had um, a career in movies for yes. over a decade. Yes. You're a stand-up comedian, obviously. Yes. Um, and now you're... Ca- Model! You're, 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 no, I'm joking. That was aggressive. I'm joking. I just, I just threw it out to you. I'm joking. <laughs> joking. Now we see that you're getting really into your fitness, or you've been into your fitness, shall mm-hmm. I say, but now it's kind of like a, a, a brand. It is. It is. I'm signed to Nike. Uh, That's you know, major. People don't even know how crazy this is. I think, um, you know, the the acting and stand-up comedy has definitely blown me away. But the biggest accomplishment is being signed to a brand as huge as yeah. Nike as an athlete. You know, I'm, One of the biggest. I'm, I'm signed as an athlete. I have a shoe coming out. You know, yeah. this is this is... This is major. I mean, you put you up against Michael Jordan. Well, obviously, the, Michael doesn't, he doesn't stand a chance. No. Uh, you know, I know the, me, Tom's Michael, everybody automatically comes to, to me. Yeah, yeah, they go right, right on this side. <laughs> uh, no, man, but you know, you know, I think the, the dopest thing about it is it's authentic. Mm-hmm. You know, this isn't something that's forced. This isn't uh, something that was done for publicity, you know? Yeah. Everything that I do, my passion is 100% in it. And within physical fitness, I'm 100% invested in it. You know, I feel like you get one life and you should do everything that you can to take advantage of it. Make sure that you're here as long as possible Mm -hmm. so that your loved ones get as as much of you as they can. Very true. You know, um, take care of yourself. Yeah, I think it's very selfish when you got people who genuinely love you and you don't love yourself. You know, Mm -hmm. I think uh, you should want to be around not just for you, but for others as a father. I got kids, man. Um, you know, I got to be an Two example. Two gorgeous kids, by Two the way. Two gorgeous, amazing kids, man. And my 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 main goal is to be the best possible example as I can for my kids to look up and say, "Wow, look what Dad did. Dad did this. He did that. We want to do that. We can do that. Yeah. Dad showed us how." And within the physical fitness element, it was that's that's something where I just did for people. You know, yeah. Join me on this movement. A lot of my friends joined you when you were in London last time. Oh, did they? Time. Yeah, they did. They did they thought have it was a good wicked. time? Yeah. Was they wicked. said it was wicked. 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 I like that. Wicked. I like that. How is your uh, English accent? My English accent is horrible, but in my mind, it's amazing. All right. Well, let's Would stick. you like some tea? Yeah, and some scones. And some scones and nutty butter. Nutty butter. Would you like it? What's nutty butter? And would you, do you want to go to the movies? The cinema. Yeah, the cinema. The cinema. <laughs> I don't know why, my, my accent gets very <laughs> villainish after a while. It gets very, it gets just angry. <laughs> do you want to go to the movie? I don't think you'd be able to take part in Downton Abbey. No, no, not, not at all. Not a chance. Not at not all. Not a chance. But like I said, in my mind, I'm bringing it. In yeah. my mind, I sound... The Queen's English. Yeah, I'm I'm right on key. 100%. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, now, you're here to talk about central, um, s- central intelligence. There you go. Central <laughs> intelligence. Central intelligence. Okay, yeah, let me stop. I yeah. like, it just gets annoying after a while. I'm sorry. <laughs> go ahead. Um, now, in this film, you're not like a... You're not really... You're Did not, you see it? I've seen it, yeah. You have seen it. I saw it on Wednesday. Did you like it? I did like tell it. Tell me, tell me what you liked about it. Um, I liked that you were kind of like you've kind of slipped away from the Kevin Hart that we know and we've mm-hmm. seen in a lot of your films, where mm-hmm. you're kind of like quite confident mm-hmm. up front, um, mm-hmm. right along with uh, with Ice Cube. Mm-hmm. You know, you kind of want to get into the action with this you one. Know, you're a scaredy different. cat. I mean, you know what's funny? What's what really makes me laugh uh, with this one here is you know, I, I love. First of all, I love people. I love the fact that people are so opinionated. Everybody has a Everybody has an opinion. Everybody's got a thought. So they're always going to give it. They're always going to tell you how they feel. And the one thing you see is like, hey, man, man, Kevin, man, he always Kevin in the movies, man. Why are you Kevin all the time? <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's that's so what uh, that's what got me in the movies, guys. Uh, <laughs> the reason why I got to do the movies is because people said, whoa, we like him. So you do things where you can showcase that. And yeah. Ride Along was that, you know. Uh, thing like a man was different. I was more of the 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 guy that wanted to do but wasn't really competent in doing, you know, uh, and I was responsible for driving a story. And about last night, it was different. I was in a relationship. I was vulgar. I was yep. aggressive, uh, you know, and the wedding ringer, completely different. Um, confident, uh, you know, a guy whose verbiage was was so strong that it it was manipulative, you know? I, I yeah. got you to do what I wanted you to do and how I wanted you to do it. I was a con man. These are all things where I've learned that, oh, wow, I can act. 
Yeah. I'm, I'm good at my craft. I see that. Uh, and then Central Intelligence, I said, well, let's let's mix it up some more uh, and go as the straight guy, you know? And DJ played the comedy relief in this film. And I thought that was different. I thought it was a great twist for both of our fan bases. Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. Yeah, yeah. The Rock. Uh, good friend of mine, man. Love the guy. Um, you know, we wanted to do something that was great and funny, but at the same time that, that had a different twist, you know, what people have to realize is that in the business of entertainment, it's very hard to do something that hasn't been touched on at this point. You know, when you're looking at movies, the reason why you guys are seeing so many remakes, the reason why you guys are seeing so many renditions of other things, everything's been done. Yeah. I don't care what you're trying to do. It's been done and in some way, shape or form. Somebody has tapped onto the touchstone. What touch about on musical it. aliens, though? Like an alien musical? I think I think in a place where the aliens are, that would be a hit. <laughs> I think that would be a hit. You know, I think the there was a TV show that was a bad show that failed in the States called Homeboys from Outer Space. And that was probably the no. one. No. That was probably the one you in, show that, that tried. Show? No, I was not. <laughs> uh, it's probably the one show to try to do anything with aliens. Uh, but, you know, in this one, any type of buddy film... You know, you you gotta you you have to try to just make it modern enough for your generation. Yeah. You know, it's not it's not that it's new, it's just modern for your generation. You know, you look at every buddy cop movie that's been out. It's a good guy, there's a bad guy. There's the funny guy, there's the straight guy. That's that's pretty much the dynamic of that's these it. things. You know what I mean? So you have to figure out how to make it unique. And within Central Intelligence, I think we stumbled on a really, really great uh uh, a great platform, you mm. know, to make it unique. You know, it's nobody's It's a wicked seen. partnership between you both. We got great chemistry, man. Yeah. I, I've been lucky to really get along with everybody that I work with from Will Ferrell to Ice Cube, who's who's like my guy, man. man yeah. Me and Cube are so close uh, to now me and DJ. And me and DJ bonded so quickly. I mean, like, the fact that you can call The Rock DJ, I wouldn't dare. DJ. He would floor me. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't say The Rock. I think The Rock is the stupidest nickname I've ever heard in my life. I tell him all the time. Right. To his face. Do you? No. 